Hey there, and welcome to Storytime with Jasper. I hope that you all have been doing really well. I got another story for you, and that is written by a fella named Al Yankovic, and that is When I Grow Up. with illustrations by Wes Hargis. Now, I know Al Yankovic as a guy named Weird Al Yankovic. If you don't know who that is, maybe your parents do. But he wrote this book that's gonna help us understand what it is that we can be when we grow up. You ready for the story? We're gonna get started right away. Here we go. When I grow up, I waited so long for the hours to pass. But soon it was noon, there in Miss Crump's class. At Thursday at noon, I'm sure you know well, it's the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week the subject, so special to me, was when I grow up, what am I gonna be? That's something I'd been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. So when Miss Crump said, Who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they go, and I bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Miss Crump picked me, yes, me, to go first. Oh, I was so happy, I thought I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my choice for a future vocation. <clears throat> Esteemed friends and colleagues, and dear Miss Crump, I know what I'm gonna be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot Thai cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna. Surrounded by kumquats and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops, Bon appetit! My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies out rotten. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it, I'm certain you'll see, a world-renowned chef is what I'm gonna be. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Miss Crump said. Who wants to go next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, cause I'm just getting started. See, maybe instead I'll be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt I like. Holy moly, I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then jump, I mean ooze, through a huge ring of fire. And crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire. Then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I, Billy, the master of snails. Or maybe I'll be the lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade. That's directly beneath the main radial sockets, inside cooling system on X14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow, and I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffes? Miss Crump said. Oh, please. I countered. How else could we make giraffe cheese? 
Now don't interrupt me, I'm not really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Cause maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate masseuse. Or a rodeo clown, or a movie director. Or maybe a professional pickle inspector. Or big sumo wrestler, or hedge fund investor. Or smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission. Or else a foot model, or a friendly mortician. Or waiter, or skater, or master debater. Or dinosaur dusting museum curator. Or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign waver. Or part time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Miss Crump said, Now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which one of these things are you going to choose? I shuffled around, and I looked at my shoes. And finally I said, My great-grandfather Bob's been in a whole lot of things. Had a whole lot of jobs. A butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103. And he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly I'm hoping you'll cut me some slack if I leave options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all of those things. And then the bell rang, and we all went to lunch, and I was sipping my pineapple punch. I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like brave firefighter, or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher, like dear Mrs. Crump. The end. Wow, those are the most silly jobs I think I've ever heard anybody say they would want to do. Now, at the very end of the book, he was able to appreciate his own teacher. That's pretty cool. I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of teachers in my life. They help make your story a good one because they help you understand parts of your story. How to make your story better. Are you thinking about what you would like to be when you grow up? What are you gonna do that's gonna change the world? Because your story is special and unique. So do whatever you can to help make your story a good one. All right, everybody? Now, don't forget about the reading challenge that we got going on, because we got our words right over here for you, all right? So be on the lookout for those words in today's story to be a part of our reading challenge. And also, for our box this week, we have got a very special item inside of here. Something super full of potential. Something that could literally become anything. Kind of like you. How you can become anything in your career. What you want to be when you grow up. Let's see what this special item is inside. Huh. Inside of your box, you will find yourself a little bag that says, Story Time with Jasper. But what's this? But what's this? We have ourselves a little ball. What is this ball? Well, this is our ball of potential. You see, this ball contains, well, it's actually just a ball of clay. But you know that clay is one of the few things that can be modeled into whatever shape you make it. The choices that you make will decide what this ball becomes. So as you go about molding it and shaping it, you can actually turn it into whatever comes to your mind. Maybe what you want to be when you grow up is a singer. So you make yourself a microphone. So make sure you do what you want to make. You can make a microphone if you want to be a singer. Maybe you make yourself, I don't know, what kind of job would you want to have? Are you going to be a huge sports player? Are you going to be a plane flyer? Are you going to make yourself a plane? A race car driver? Who knows what it is that you want to be? But in your my future, upload a picture of 
your drawing, what kind of job you would like to have, and include a picture of the special item that you make out of your ball of potential. Alrighty, everybody? So, get going on that. We'll see you guys next time. Alrighty? Take care, everybody.